Hey guys, it's me from Leather Gaming, and today I'm going to show you something that it can be used as a intro template or just like a cool looking logo or something. So, what the first thing I do is you want to go onto Photoshop and get any canvas size, but not too big and not too small. Um, what am I doing? Anyway. Second thing you want to do is you want to get a text object. Wait for this to do. Okay, that's done. And then what you want to do, you want to make a big text square like that. And then you want to change the size to a quite big. I've got mine set at 400, as you can see up there. There we are. And say whatever your first part of your YouTube channel is say uh, I don't know man's leather gaming so I'll just put LG whoa that's far too big yeah don't put it that big by the way just gonna shrink this a bit that'll be alright Put about 250. Oh, damn it. Sorry, I have forgotten a step. So, what you want to do before you made the text, you want to choose a good font. And let's choose a font that I normally use. It's that one. Yep. So, once that's done, you want to try and place it as best you can in the center. And then after you've done that, you want to go to the Layers tab. You want to go Select. Oh no, so, no you don't. You want to hit Control. I'm currently on Windows. So I want to go on Control. And then you see over here where it says the text thingy. Uh, whatever it's called, Thumbnail. That's it. You want to click that. And it's going to highlight all of your text. Then what you want to do, you want to go on select, modify, modify, and expand, and that's just going to expand the lines. And I normally start expanding by ten, let's say. What you want to do, you want to make sure all these lines are joining up to each other. So I'm going to expand it just by another three, I think. And just another three. And if you watch the change, yes, it's going to change. It's got to join up perfectly. And after you've done that, you want to go to the paint bucket tool. You want to make sure it is selected on the core of your font. It normally works best on black, I find. And then you want to go down here and make another layer. It's going to be called layer 1, hopefully, if you follow the steps correctly. And then what we want to do, we want to just go inside that line and then hit it. And then on Windows, you want to go Control D. I'm not sure what it is on any other software or whatever it's called. And then after you've done that, you can go onto the Magic 1 tool up here. When it loads, there we are, Magic 1. And then you want to just click, and that if it's joined up, it's going to hide all of it. If it doesn't, just you need to go back a couple of steps and make sure it does. And then you want to go here, paths. If you do not see paths, you're going to go out to window, and then where is it now? Ignore that, actually. Yeah, you should you should see paths there. Just look around for it. It's either here or up here. It'll, if it's if you're on CS6, it'll be down here somewhere. Mine is there. So you click paths, and then the th fourth icon to the right is going to say make work work path from selection. You want to click that, and then go back onto your layers tab, and then if you hide the text, yeah, that's it. 
I'm still there. After that's done, I think this should work anyway. So file, export, and then you want paths to Illustrator. Make sure it is selected on work path, and then hit OK. And after that's done, you want to save it to somewhere you can remember. It's Adobe Illustrator to file type AI. And I'm just going to change it to here, just so I know what it's called. And after that's done, you want to jump on to... One sec. Okay. You want to jump on to Cinema 4D. And then once you're on Cinema 4D, you want to go File, Open. And you want to find that file type. I remember I called mine here. And then click that and then hit open. As you can see, it's refreshed the thing. So, first thing you want to do, you want to align it up just so you can see all the depth of it. And to make it 3D, you want to hold down that square, go on to extreme. Extrude nerves, that's it, yeah. And then you can drag drag your like little template thing, whatever it's called, and drag it to the bottom ish of extrude nerves until the arrow is pointing down onto that square and then let go. And it's gonna change it into like a little three three D object. Like that. And what you can do you can You can change the caps, maybe use fillet cap, both. Change the radius on that to four. Make it look a lot nicer, actually. I have one step actually. Just zoom in so you can see this. That little, there's a little line in there. That's why I just wanted the effect of that. Um, just now, just do. Don't matter about the material for now. Then just insert a mo text. Make sure the mo text that you use is the exact same font as you did if this part here. So with the mo text, you want to port exactly what your little panel says LG and again I forgot to change the font you want to make sure that the font is exactly the same as before on my own was CGF I think yeah that's it CGF whatever and then once that looks loaded up you can just make sure it's in line with each other which it is and then what you want to do you want to see this blue thing here and drag it forward just so it goes on top of that yeah more after time and then as it oh that might fit perfectly Make it a little bit bigger. It's basically, guys, all you need to do just mess around with this a little bit, just so it can fit. You might need to add a bit of spacing. And be it back. Sorry. Sorry about that small interruption. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna end it in a minute or so I'm gonna make a second part of this because it's been come kind of long and so what you want to do for this final step before I go is you want to make sure this lines up and just hits the back panel straight away this is also just a case of messing around with it guys I'm not going to get confused here now. For some reason it's become smaller. What is going on? 
they do line it up exactly that panel pile it's not perfect but I suppose it'll do okay that's the last step to that if you didn't follow any uh, any of it just keep pausing it as you're going along if you rewatch this video um, and I'll see you in part two see ya